Ooh. Hmm. Mate. Ooh. I should put my hand in wet. Have you ever seen something so delicious? So I'd love to pretend that the camera isn't balancing on my kettle, but I'd be lying. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Erin and today I'm so excited to film this video. I've wanted to do it for the longest time. I'm going to be filming a testing healthy TikTok food hack video. I can spend hours and hours scrolling through the feed. And if you're not familiar with TikTok then good for you, stay that way. But there's a lot of like healthy food hacks and I haven't tried a lot of them before so I'm very excited to give them a go. Hopefully they're good, I've got high expectations so the only way is down. When I originally planned to film this video I didn't anticipate it to be 23 degrees outside which if you live in the north of England then you know that that's basically the tropics. Forgive me if I'm a little bit sweaty, a little bit tired. I don't cope well with the heat and you know I'm struggling. Let's get into it because I'm hungry and I want to eat. So the first video is healthy chips, crisps as we would say. So like five minutes in the microwave, sounds simple, sounds foolproof. Right, okay, let's try this. I'm down. So I don't actually have a mandolin, so I'm going to use my excellent knife skills and just cut them finely. Am I doing it the right way? Maybe it should be that way. I don't know. If this is good, game changer. Do you reckon I've done enough? I need to watch the video again. This is supposed to be easy, yeah. I'm struggling. Mine not the most even <laughs> inside, but that's to be expected. <laughs> I just want to get them in. Okay, I will see you in five. Um, okay. Oh. What have I done wrong? Ew. Uh, Against my better judgement, I'm going to put them back in for another minute. Okay, so I'm just reading the comments on the potato one and someone said, Does not work, I tried. Someone else said, I tested it and it tasted really good. Okay. Someone said, nice but interesting fact, the radiation from your microwave affects your food, which affects your health and leads to things like cancer, but nice. Kind of killed the vibe there. I did it, it isn't chips, just boiled potato. You see, that's what I'm getting. I'm just getting boiled potato vibes here. No hate to a boiled potato. Don't fail me, baby. I had to get out of the microwave with the sock because the plate has heated up so much it burns. They look like dried bananas. Okay. Do you know what? Yeah, they just keep sticking to each other. Go for this one. They're good. Would I do it again? Yes. Does it replace normal crisp? No. But do you know what? I'm gonna eat more. I'm gonna give that a... Seven. Seven out of ten. So what I'm thinking is we'll go for savoury stuff first and then we'll move on to the sweet goodies. The next thing I'm gonna do is the perfect fluffy scrambled egg. Now, scrambled eggs, take them or leave them. I prefer a fried egg, but these look pretty damn fluffy. No butter, no oil, no milk. Let's have a look. Yeah. Okay. It looks too easy, mate. Oh. Good start. I've got water on a ferocious boil here. It's my whisked egg. And just Whoa. Okay, so while we wait for the eggs, I thought I'd review some of the comments on that. That's a poached egg, lol. You know, he's right, it is just a poached egg. Never in a million years thought to do this. Gonna give it a go. Oh, Craig, I hope you enjoyed, baby. You can do this without water and get the same result with better flavour. You know, that's true. It's not really anything revolutionary. They just look so good on the video. I'm just taken in by it. These are bloody good. Are you ready to see the tastiest and fluffiest egg you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> Ew. What did I do wrong? So, never judge a book. I'll give it a go. Okay, bon appetit. Slimy water. What on earth? That's not pleasant. Two out of ten. In fact, no. What a waste of an egg. I'd say zero. Honestly, that egg makes these look like they're haute cuisine. So this next one sounds really interesting in theory. It's courgette pizza. I know. Now, personally, I don't actually like pizza. Like I, I hate cheesy flavors. I hate, I hate cheese. 
If I make it, it's just gonna be courgette and then like tomato, which feels like a waste. I'm gonna do it anyway. I've come prepared. I'll only make a few because I know I'm not gonna be the biggest fan. Okay, I said I was only gonna make a few and I've ended up chopping up the whole thing. Passata, garlic granules, oregano. This is like the ultimate. This makes anything taste like pizza, I swear to God. A healthy mini zucchini pizza. Imagine saying zucchini and being serious. Could not be me. Making it rain. I am gonna put some like a cheese flavor thing on it. I can't tell you how much I hate cheese. I don't want to, it's too cheesy for me. It's basically made of cashew nuts, sunflower seeds, nutritional yeast, kale, salt, and lemon peel, but it tastes so much like cheese, it's honestly frightening. Obviously it's not gonna melt like cheese, is it? <laughs> I've come into a different room because it's quite noisy while the air fryer does its thing. The next thing I'm trying is frozen blueberry cereal. Now in my head, this can't taste bad. This can't taste bad. Let's go grab some frozen blueberries, then add in some milk. I'm using almond milk. So I wasn't sure of the correct blueberry to milk ratio, so I've almost certainly got it wrong. You're gonna get slush. Look at that. It's Oh, I see. I see. I need more milk. Okay. I think it's the best we're gonna get. So let's try this slush. Ooh! Yeah, it's definitely cold. It doesn't really have much to it. Maybe I've done it wrong. It's nothing to write home about. It tastes exactly how you think it's gonna taste. It's so cold. I can't. Okay, so back to the three ingredient pizza that's gonna blow my mind. I'll blow your mind. Ready? Okay. I'm trying to let it cool down, but I have no patience. No patience. Like, you can see the steam coming off that. I'd be a fool to put that in my mouth. No, I will wait. Okay. I do like garlic, so honey, I could eat that all day. Mm. Cheese came through too much in that one. I mean, the whole thing. Believe it or not, I have never had a frozen grape in my life. Now I know it's a really popular like snack and I saw this TikTok that was like, if you add lime juice to it, it's like sour candy or sweets. Unfortunately, I only had the red grapes because green grapes are scum. Oh, it's quite a firm line. Oh boy. Oh boy. Dude. I mean, apart from the fact my teeth. Man, do they hurt. Oh, thumbnail. That isn't gonna happen. Two in a row. Two absolute bangers. Yes to the courgette. Yes to the grapes. Sweet potato pancakes. Now... I've tried this before, but I've always used flour, like a normal person. My mixture does not look the same. Why is it so thick? Okay, and then we flip. So this is kind of another food hack, but I don't really want to give credit to TikTok because it's just a food hack in general. If you take off this little nub of your avocado, it'll tell you whether it's ripe or not. I don't know what that means. I think that means it's ready to eat. Let's have a look. This is gonna be so awful. I also have a blue board for chopping fish. Is that a thing? Okay, I need you to go slower. I need slowness. Wow, this is riveting. Oh, stop it. Behave yourself. No, come on. Oh, no way. Okay, low key better than theirs. What are you saying, baby? Hello, this will make about three very thick and fluffy pancakes. The pancakes are okay. Don't move a muscle. <clears throat> I'm kind of, I'm kind of impressed. It's good. Kind of dry, but kind of good. It'd be good for brekkie. I'd say a good eight out of 10. I like it. 
so my camera actually ran out of battery before I had a chance to sign off yesterday so I'll do that now thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up and if you've watched this far it actually means you have to subscribe so thanks in advance for doing that you can also check me out on my Instagram I post lots of foodie and a bit of lifestyle stuff over there so if you're interested you can hit me up with a follow and hopefully I will see you in the next one bye